So you've got an approved Learning Center instructor account. Now what? Well, the first thing you should probably do is add a class. To do that, you can go access Manage Classes or just click on this Classes icon. As you can see, I don't have any classes. So the first thing I would do is click this Add button to add a class. You want to give the class a name that students will recognize, uh, but for, me, for this case, let's just say this is the new class. I'm going to start my new class on April 1st and end it on a most auspicious day. You'll notice that the, the dates here, uh, there's a message about the dates. They can be blank, but it's better to put your class dates in because they constrain when your assignments can be made and allow you to control for uh, posting and due dates of assignments uh, in a much more controlled fashion. Uh, go on to enrollment. Uh, Learning Center uh, students can sign up on their own and choose classes to enroll in. A public open class is publicly available to students and when they select the class they are automatically enrolled. A managed class allows students to choose the class but you have to approve their enrollment. A private class cannot be seen by students and only you can enroll them. If you have purchased a license from, the, from Townsend Press, you can put the access code in here and students will automatically be given access to the material that you purchased. Finally, you can copy assignments from an existing class. Uh, this doesn't copy the dates, but just the assignments, and uh, we'll go into assignments in another video. I'm just going to click Add Class here, and now I'm in the class where I can manage it. You can see I'm being prompted to add assignments, which we'll go over in the next video. But let's, for now, just go back to Manage Classes. As you can see on the list of classes, I have one now. Uh, there are some things to point out, the name of the class, the dates, and its enrollment status. If you have assignments and students, the counts will be here. And these are also shortcuts to jump to the students or assignments or reports in a class. Go back to Manage Classes. Here are some other shortcuts that you can use. One I want to point out right now is filing a class. If you're done with a class and you want to make it so that it's still visible to you but not to students in any way, you can file it. And now it is in this lower list here. If you realize that was a mistake, you can unfile it, and it's right back up into the active classes list. That's it. Thank you.